and this is my camp. <laughs> it looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Like, it looks deceiving when you come in here and you see... On today's episode of Planet Earth... <laughs> Guys, this might just be the start of the video log. Right now guys, this is where we are fishing the Shatterford Lakes. We're currently on Stewart's Lake. This is my setup here. The sun is shining. Scott is there. You see him just there in the, underneath the one pin willow. Big Nige. My dad is there. Our neighbour, a good friend of my dad's, is there. Matty is there. And my brother. Billy is just round the corner. Last time he was here he caught a 35, 40 pound catfish. It was a beast, it was a monster. But guys, what a beautiful place. What a beautiful place. I don't know if you guys like fishing, but it's so relaxing. Like, and we're gonna have a laugh. Like, it's gonna be very, very chilled out. We got some barbecues. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And um, we're here for 24 hours. Well. Probably about 30 hours we're going to be here for. So, it's going to be nice. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Show us the cast then, Scott. <laughs> so, all is quiet in the camp right now. Billy's had two. Glenn's had one. Scott's had one. So, whilst it's a little bit quiet, we're just going and exploring around the lake. My hay fever is like nailing me recent, like right now. I've got two packs of Puritan hay fever tablets. Um, so that's all good. Safe, Bill. Look, look how look how legit his peg is. Like, like guys, if you see mine, like he's got he's got all this space, nice little tent and stuff, little bivy. And mine, there's like flies, spiders, dragonflies. Um, I'm convinced there's a couple dragons in there as well, like, there's everything, butterflies, everything you can think of is in my bivvy. So, will I, will I be sleeping in there tonight? No. So, as you saw earlier, he had Matty's camp, Billy's camp, and this is my camp. <laughs> it looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Like, it looks deceiving when you come in here and you see every kind of... Dragon moth, like there's, there's bits of everything in here. If I sleep in there, I can guarantee I will never be streaming again and you will never see any more YouTube videos. Okay, so this is Scott's camp right underneath a nice, nice willow tree. Like, he just his, his bite alarm's just just gone blue. Oh, they're both having a little bit of ganders down there. Save Scott, Save. he looks all so comfortable, you know why? Because he's just woke up from a sleep, he's been asleep for about an hour. And he was saying to us before we came out, oh, don't sleep. Scott, listen out for my rods, right, bro? I'm going to walk round to Glenn's camp and my dad's camp. So I'll let you check it out. Glenn and my dad don't have their bivvy set up yet, they've bought day shelters because it's too hot, which makes perfect sense. We're here. Here you have Glenn's camp. There's two rods, net in the middle, chair. It's a nice peg you got here, Glenn. And as you can see from this peg, you can see. Matty's peg, my peg, Scott's peg, and if he leans round, he'll be able to see Billy's peg just right there. How are you doing, Glenn? Oh, what, what's this you got here? Oh, he's on the hard stuff, lads. 
I'm a drink hey kid. Yeah. How are you doing, Glenn? <laughs> so yeah, so like if if I've got one on, Scott's got one on, or Matt has got one on, Glenn can just be like giving us moral support from across the lake. That's right, mate, <laughs> And then through the willows. Big Nige waits for me. <laughs> <laughs> that was proper romantic, that was. The leaves swooped out the way and everything. Okay, so this, like, if you look, guys, we've got, like, barbecues, and some barbecues in here, we're, like, for our, for our butties. And then, as we all know, Big Nige don't like to come, you know, fully stacked up. So this, <laughs> this is my dad's setup. He's got his chair, and he's just got his bits and dabs, and his two rods, and his net. Like, we're all packing. Like we're all absolutely stacking, and then <laughs> you gotta love him. Big Nige, he doesn't, he doesn't really come strictly for fishing. Let's catch loads of fish. He just loves to have a break, man. He just loves to chill out and relax for the weekend. So, yeah, man, that's our setup right now. There's the camps, and hopefully I can get some people angling fish. And hopefully some monsters during this week end. You never guess who has just turned up at the camp. Hello, mate. These little cheeky fellas are absolutely living the dream. You're drinking my Vimto down there. Got a can of Vimto, he's drinking. These two are gonna do all the fishing for me tonight. Get a bite. These are the guys that are gonna strike the rod. No worries, Jeff. See you later. Look at Scott's, look at Scott's mate. <laughs> what was that, Jeffrey? Oh. <laughs> What was that, Jeff? You need, you need an hand. How, how are you getting on, Matt? Well, these are causing problems. Get on, Matt. Attack. The <laughs> multi tried to scare off the duck and he came for the chest at him. I've got the ducks with me again. Hey. Hey. Hey, you. Get over there. Anyway. My hay fever has been absolutely... It's one of the reasons I'm wearing these glasses, guys. Hay fever is absolutely wrecking me. The thing is, guys, it's been really hot all day, so the fish are only fe feeding off the top. We've been fishing on the bottom, carp, catfish, bottom feeders. Good thing is, sun goes down, night time comes. Hopefully it picks up throughout the night. We've got out the summer attire and we are into the winter attire because now the sun's going down. There is a nip in the air. There is a nip. Something very awesome is going on there. At this lake, we can actually order takeaway and they deliver it to the like the main gates of the place. So my dad's gonna go take the car um, and pick the food up when the guy rings and he's gonna be like he's gonna ring like, hey, your food's here. So then we're all gonna eat pizza around a lake. I mean, what more could we ask for? We got Jeffrey, we got pizza, and hopefully we get some monsters. Can you see all these black shadows in the water? You can see black shadows all over the lake, and it's, I don't know, hopefully they all go down when, when, the, when, when, the, when the sun goes down. But at the moment, like I said, because it's been hot all day, carp come to the top and as you can see there's a lot of a lot of carp just on the top hay fever central right now pizza man is here just eat <laughs> delivery <laughs> there's big noise bringing the goods it is the sheriff a pizza italiana 
in the box of a pizza italiano. This is me, copy in the man on the box. Oh my god. Guys, I mean, how many places, how many of you guys, how many people can say they fish on a lake and even order a takeaway? <laughs> it just follows me. Wherever I go, there's takeaway. I just bring the power with me. The sun has gone down. It is now, I think it's about 10 o'clock, half past 10. And I would have got a lot more footage, but my hay fever is absolutely ruining me. Like, all my sinuses are blocked here. So, like, sometimes when I'm talking, it sounds like I'm holding my nose. Yeah, I've had a few, few bream, nothing, nothing special, nothing to get the camera ready to record for. A few people have had bites, but nothing, nothing major. I'm not sure what the quality is going to be like on, on the video when it's dark, but, hey, we live and learn. We'll, we'll find out. Let's see if this video logging camera can handle it. Hopefully, throughout the night, my, my hay fever clears up a little bit. My sinuses get unblocked and stuff. Pirates tablets. I've took a full pack seven tablets so far today and it's done nothing for me it's currently 2 45 a.m everything's still quiet everybody's got fires on the go to keep warm i feel like i feel like this is a scene as the blair witch project Right now. Oh man, my eyes are stinging. <laughs> if you find this tape, <laughs> I love you. Let's get out there. Let's show you a fire. This is our homemade fire. It's a barbecue, but what was a portable barbecue, which is now. A bonfire. Ah. And then there's Matty's house. Fire. Matty's house. So far, guys, <coughs> it's 4:30 a.m. and all I have caught is a hay fever attack. <sighs> Clay, I am knackered. And I slept on a rock hard floor. Oh boy. Good morning. As you can see, my eyes. My hay fever it was bad. I woke up this morning and my one eye was stuck together. And I was like, I woke up with one eye. I was looking around like this. What's going on? Where am I? Where am I? Yeah, guys, sadly, it was a quiet one. These things happen when it comes down to fishing. It was really hot yesterday. All the carp was on the top and stuff like that. Sadly, we had no catfish runs throughout the night. Scott got two nice double-digit carp. One he caught when the, when the owner of the lakes and stuff was there, so I didn't want to get my camera out and record it. And the second one was at half five this morning when I was asleep. He just said, come and check out the carp like that I just caught. Um, I caught about five bream. One, two, three pound max. So nothing really special for the camera. Matty caught about five bream. Billy caught one carp. But yeah, so it wasn't really, there wasn't really nothing special that I had to get on camera for you guys, you know. Um, like I said guys, I would have got a lot more content, a lot more footage, but my hay fever hasn't ruined the trip, but it made it a lot less enjoyable. You know, like, it's a pain in the arse, and when I'm, like there's a point yesterday where I was struggling to breathe, my chest was tight, my nose was clogged up, and it was just bad. You know, it was really, really bad. So that kind of put the reins on me recording. But hey ho, we should still have a decent video log, so we'll see. Big shout out to Sean and the team at Allen's. So go check them out and go show them some love. He's a great guy. It's his business and he's a very great guy and the team are great and they really do look after us. So yeah guys, let me know what you thought of this. You know, like just a little hobby that I'm getting into with my family and something I really enjoy. Let me know down below if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, always. And, uh, yeah, guys, I look forward to more of these adventures. I really do. So now we're going to pack down. And... and there you have it. There is no more camp. Gone. Just started to rain as I've pulled my camera out.
Just as we've finished packing up, no camps left. Time for a drive home, a nice warm bath. Some way to sort out these eyes. Cucumbers or tea bags, I don't know. There you have it, there and back again. A Hobbit's Tale by Bilbo Baggins and The Lord of the Rings by Frodo Baggins. Uh huh, that's my shit. All the girls are the light. He's going on an adventure. Comment what you thought, like the video, subscribe as always. I appreciate you all so much. I hope you enjoyed something different, threw this into the mix. I know the, the main channel is like punk hole pops and stuff like that, but hey. Hello. Gonna be throwing something like this in the mix every, at least probably once a month, all right? So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Keep it the best you can be, God bless. And as always, I love y'all. I'll see you in the next video.